2021 Bell Jeff Invitation with Richard Moreno, a senior from Loyola High School, individual winner of the Doug Sweat Two Picks Race, 1503, I believe it was. Uh, how did the race feel for you today? The race was really tough. Uh, I stumbled a little bit at the beginning, then had to get out and really just tried my hardest to really push myself being in the front. And the rest of my team followed me and were chasing after me the whole time. I think we had good packing today. But hard race, but successful, I think. When you say stumble, you mean physically stumble? Yeah, I, I tripped at the start. Because it was slick? Yeah, or? it was slick. So um, a couple of my guys jumped over me, but then I just got back up there. For those kids who don't have experience at Loyola does on this course, you guys train here a lot in a sense. What's the key on this course in your opinion? This course is a big hill uh, around the two-mile mark called Sand Hill. It has a false flat, and you know that's where everyone falls asleep or makes moves. So it's really just important there to push yourself as hard as you can and get over the crest of the hill because that's where the race really starts. I mean, the beginning, there's one hill, the rest is pretty easy, so as soon as we hit there, uh, stuff gets real. Is that where it seemed to today to also basically start to break apart? For sure. Um, our whole team was pretty close, and then we hit Sand Hill, and you know, we started to spread out. Some guys made moves, and you know, it was just all over the place. It just really depends on uh, how everyone approaches it, but that's definitely the toughest part of the race. You guys came off of a pretty good showing in a sense over at Mount Carmel. You guys had the, the, the mini cow run. Uh, what was the what was like the team approach here today? What was the goal you guys wanted to come out of here today? With? Yeah, today we wanted to have our one through five around 30 seconds uh, at Mount Carmel. It was around a minute, so we were really focusing on closing that up today, having good packing, and that's what we did. I was like 15.03, and I think our th uh, fifth man was around 15.30. So we were really close, and we really all pushed each other to get with, as close together as possible. So we're really happy about that. 28 seconds of gap today. Uh, as far as yesterday, the news broke about NXN being tested for this year. What was the, what was the response to the team? You know, we were pretty shocked. Uh, we've that's been our dream since freshman year. You know, we've come a long way, but it won't stop us in our goals. I mean, we still want to perform at state, uh, chase after Newberry, hopefully beat Great Oak, and every single day, every single week, we're really pushing towards that goal. And not having a national race um, won't stop us from completing that. So. We're, we're just saying forget about it and nothing changes for us. If you had to, without trying to put you on the spot, if you had to, what's going to be the key for this year's team to be really successful? What's going to be the real, real key? Uh, I really think it's going to be our packing. We're really going to need our fifth guy to stay up with our fourth guys. And, you know, we, we had a good preview of that today. We're happy about that, but we're definitely going to have to have some front runners. You know, hopefully me, Dylan, and whoever else can really step up and get the front points up there. So you've been the front runner lately for the team. You mentioned about team packing. At what point in time in a race, is, or does that vary from race to race, do you try and stay with the pack, or is your job to try and pull the pack? What, what's the approach? Yeah, um, my approach, and what I tried to do today, was to really just pull the pack, go out hard, and just challenge everyone to stay with me. And that's what our coach talked about, and that's what our team did today. They just tried to follow me, and they, I could hear them right behind me the whole time. So. Um, I think we did a good job about that today. Richard, how about individually? Did you have any individual goals today for yourself? Individually, I was trying to break 15, um, but it's really hard for me to run alone. I like running with people and chasing people down. So I think if I had some more people, I could have done that. I felt pretty good, but at some parts of the race where I you know, was going up those hills, I just really wish I had someone to take me. So What is the next big challenge for you guys on the calendar? We have Mount Sac next, so we have a couple weeks off. We're going to you know, bring it back a little bit, do some more hills before we hit Mount Sac really hard, and we're trying to win that since Newberry Park's not in it. The uh, fact that this year, postseason, prelims and finals for Sutter Section is at Mount Sac, yeah. have you noticed any difference with the coaches in terms of them stressing the Invitational a bit differently because it's now the site also of the championships? Oh, yeah, it is definitely different. I mean. Mount Sac's always a preview for like CIF and State for us, so we always hit that hard. But this year, since CIF is at Mount Sac, it's totally different. We're really trying to kill it and make a big statement at Mount Sac because that'll honestly show where everyone's going to be at the CIF prelims and finals. So it's really important this year. All right, Rich Moreno, you have 1503 and change, the winner of the Doug Specs Hoop Kicks and the 21 Bell Jeff Invitational. Loyola Gaps 29 seconds, I believe it was, for the big win today. Thank you. Thank you.